Now, before the break, we asked, when was the first dog show run by the fair? The answer is 110 years ago in 1912. Now, remember, you can play this uh, trivia game at home. No signing up for anything. You just scan the QR code that's on your screen, or you can just go over to WCCO.com slash connect. That one threw a few people. They didn't have yeah. the answer on that one. They oh, were thinking later. One. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we are dog lovers. You know we that. Are. Yes, we Frank are. and Amelia's dogs, my dog, and uh, we're happy if our dog can sit and stay. But there are dogs that are much more talented than ours. The Pet Pavilion is a very popular place here at the fair, and we brought some guests, two of them with four legs. And uh, tell us your name and your lovely doggy's name. I am Bobby Moore Rebel. This is Izzy. She has a real long professional name. She is Grand Champion Bronze, Best in Specialty. Beamer who says, I put a spell on you, and there's a whole bunch more after that. <laughs> that's all part of her name? <laughs> yes, that's a registered Ooh. name. Izzy for short. Okay, and how about you over there? I'm Carol Uhl, and this is D, officially Dora the Explorer. Hi, Aww. Dora. And she's a skipper key. Okay, so for people that are coming out to the fair, they're so geared up on food and, and all the entertainment, but tell us what's going on up at the Pet Pavilion. Well, we give demos every day. We have booths that look like your front porch, and we sit there with the dogs. We're Minnesota Purebred Dog Breeders Association, so we're educating people on purebred dogs and why you'd want to own one and all the advantages to having a purebred dog and buying from a reputable breeder. So can people watch some of the competition and things that are going on up there? Yep, every day we have something different. We have de we demonstrate confirmation, which is what you see at Westminster. We demonstrate agility, disc dog, where they're throwing the Frisbees for the dogs. Um, the only thing we don't do is dock diving because we don't have a pool, but pretty much everything else. We'll have one built for you. Yeah, we'll build one. We're we'll get, build we'll get one on that. You. We'll get to work on it. Carol, okay. what, was, what was the name of your, I, I don't know that breed. What did you say again it is? Skipper Key. It's a Belgian breed. They were bred to guard barges and hunt mice and rats on the barges. Nobody told her that, but. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's full size then. She's full size. And she's getting heavier by the second. <laughs> I bet. And these dogs are so talented. A lot of times, like nine out of 10, when I do a trick with my dog, she fails. <laughs> do they ever mess up or are they just so dialed in? They mess up a lot. Izzy is actually an obedience school dropout. She decided that everybody else had better treats than I do, so they were more fun than me. Beauty school dropout. No, you would not be a beauty school dropout. You're too beautiful. Well, that's great. Well, thank you guys for coming along today. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It was fun to come down here. And everybody, come visit the Pet Center. We have lots of breeds for you to pet. And if you have questions, just ask. We love to educate. Fantastic. Well, we love it. Thank you for coming by the Pet Center. By the way, it's on the north end of the fair when you're out and about walking around. You can check it out. You can meet dog breeds. You can shop for toys, accessories, and watch those daily agility and obedience demonstrations that they were talking about. Always fun stuff out here at the fair. Guys. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, 